Hi all, welcome back to another session of MCQ series. Today I am going to introduce some selected model questions for preparing pharmacists grade 2 and 3. And the session is also helpful for all the competitive exams related to pharmacy. Okay, let's check out the questions and answers. First question, the glycoside present in Naxvomica. Options are Ajmalin, B. Loganin, C. Strychnin and option D. Emodin. Correct answer is option B and C that is Loganin and Strychnin. Okay, actually Ajimalin and Ajimalicin are the indolin alkaloids present in Raulfia. Then Loganin and Strychnin are present in Strychnus naxomica. Then Imodin is present in Aloe. Second question, a drug that produces teratogenesis like lymph defects. Option A, tetracycline, B, phenytoin, C, thalidomide and option D, dexamethasone. Correct answer is option C, that is thalidomide. Question number 3, the volatile oil used for the production of important ionants. Option A, sandalwood oil, B, eucalyptus oil, C, lemongrass oil and option D, menda oil. Actually, ionants are the aroma compounds found in variety of essential oils. Correct answer is all. Actually, all these essential oils are used for the production of ions. Question number 4. The other name for leucold solution. Option A. Weak iodine solution. B. Strong iodine solution. C. Tincture of iodine. And option D. Povidone iodine. Correct answer is option B. That is strong iodine solution. Question number 5. The temperature and time for moist heat sterilization. Options are A. 100 degrees Celsius for 2 hours B. 115 to 116 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes C. 120 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes and Option D. 160 degrees Celsius for 1 hour Correct answer is Option D. That is 160 degrees Celsius for 1 hour Then question number 6. How are bacteria killed by gamma rays? Option A. By oxidation of bacterial cell B. By alkylation of protein molecules. Option C. By inhibiting folic acid synthesis. And option D. By reduction of protein. Correct answer is option A. That is by oxidation of bacterial cell. Question number 8. The method suggested for making sterile eye drops. Option A. Pasteurization. B. Autoclaving. C. Heating with a bactericide. And option D. Tindalization. Correct answer is option C that is heating with a bactericide. Question number 9. The method of destruction of bacteria in moist heat sterilization. Option A. Coagulation of protoplasm of bacterial cell. B. Oxidation of bacterial nucleus. C. Inhibition of movement. Option D. By pinocytosis. Correct answer is option A that is coagulation of protoplasm of bacterial cell. Then question number 10. Glass wares are sterilized by Option A. Dry heat sterilization B. Autoclaving C. Heating with a bactericide and Option D. Gamma rays Correct answer is Option A. That is dry heat sterilization. Then question number 12. The well-known test for tropine alkaloids is Options are A. Bondrages test B. Vitaly Morin reaction C. Balchet test and Option D. Legal test Correct answer is option B, that is Vitaly Morin reaction. Actually, Bondrages test or anthraquinone test are used for drugs containing anthraquinones like Senna, Ruparpa and Cascara. Then, Budget, Legal and also Keller Kilyani are the identification tests for Digitalis. Question number 13, an oleogum resin which answers combined ambiliferone test. Options are A, Mer, B, Colophony, C, Asafoetida and option D, Jalap. Correct answer is option C, that is Asafoetida. Question number 14, Vasaka belongs to the family. Options are A, Leguminose, B, Acanthaceae, C, Amarillidae and option D, Rubiaceae. Correct answer is option B, Acanthaceae. That is, Vasaka consists of either fresh or dried leaves of Adathoda Vasica and belongs to the family Acanthaceae. Question number 15. The compound 1,3-dichloropropane with zinc in presence of sodium iodide gives. Options are A. Halothane, B. Cyclopropane, C. Propylene glycol and option D. Dichloropropane iodide. Correct answer is option B that is cyclopropane. 
Question number 16. Anthraquinone glycosides having both C and O linkage. Option A. Alloemodin. B. Cascariocytes. C. Senocytes. And option D. Palmidins. Correct answer is option B. That is Cascariocytes. Question number 17. Serum containing antibacterial antibiotics are called. Option A. Vaccines. B. Antisera. C. Toxoids. And option D. Bacterial suspensions. Correct answer is option B that is antisera. Question number 18. A popular antiseptic highly active against vegetative gram positive organism. Options are A. Lysol, B. Savlon, Option C. Chlorohexidin and option D. Chloroxylenol. Correct answer is option D. Chloroxylenol. Question number 19. Track and trough reagent used in the general test for alkaloid is. Option A. Potassium Mercuric Iodide Solution B. Iodine in Potassium Iodide C. Saturated Picric Acid Solution and Option D. Potassium Bismuth Iodide Solution Correct answer is Option D. Potassium Bismuth Iodide Solution Question number 20. The Schick test is for dictating the immunity or susceptibility to Option A. Tuberculosis B. Diphtheria C. Leprosy and Option D. Tetanus Okay, the correct answer is option B, diphtheria. Then, in case of tuberculosis, various diagnostic tests used are DOT test, that is D-O-T, then TST test, Mandex test, and TIN test. The TST test is the tuberculosis skin test. Then, in case of leprosy, histamine test and protamine test are performed as diagnostic test. Okay, I have some more points related to this question. For AIDS, the diagnostic tests performed are PCR test and NUVA test. In case of typhoid, the diagnostic test is called Vidal test. Then VDRL test and Wesserman test are used for the diagnosis of syphilis. Okay, then question number 21, a derivative of 1,4-benzodiazepine. Option A, diazepam, B, chlorodiazepoxide, C, carbamazepine and option D, nitrosepam. Correct answer is option A, diazepam. Question number 22. A drug used as local anesthetic and antiarrhythmic. Option A, benzocaine, B, lignocaine, C, cocaine and option D, procaine. Correct answer is option B, lignocaine. Question number 23. The chairman of DTAB is Option A, Director, Central Drug Laboratory, B, Director, Central Research Institute, C, Director, General of Health Service and Option D, Drugs Controller of India. Correct answer is Option C, that is Director General of Health Service. Question number 24, the labeling requirement for Schedule G drug is Option A. Caution. It is dangerous to take this prescription except under medical supervision. Option B. Warning. To be sold on the prescription of a registered medical practitioner only. C. Not for human use. And Option D. Symbol Rx prominently on the left hand top corner of the label. Correct answer is Option A. That is caution. It is dangerous to take this prescription except under medical supervision. Okay, here option B and D, that is warning to be sold on the prescription of a registered medical practitioner only. And option D, simple Rx prominently on the left hand top corner of the label are the two labeling requirements of Schedule H drugs. Then option C, that is not for human use, is the labeling requirement of veterinary drugs for treatment of animals. Question number 25. The common substance used for entry coating. Option A. Sucrose. B. Methyl cellulose. C. Cellulose acetate phthalate. And option D. Carboxymethyl cellulose. Correct answer is option C. That is cellulose acetate phthalate. Okay. Entry coated tablets are compressed tablets meant for administration by swallowing and are designed to bypass the stomach and get disintegrated in the intestine only. Actually, these tablets are made to release the drug undiluted and in the highest concentration possible within the intestine. For example, tablets containing anhelminthix and amebicides. Then, on a large scale, the end recording of tablets is done in a rotating pan. 
and the solutions of enrichting materials such as salol, cellulose acetate, thalate, shellac and its derivatives are prepared in a volatile organic solvent. Then that solution is sprayed over the tablets which are rotating in a coating pan. Then hot air is blown into the pan which helps in the evaporation of organic solvent. Hence a fine film of unrecorded material is made over the tablet. The process is repeated a number of times till the required number of coating is done. Ok that's all for today's session. If you like the video please hit the like button. Please share the video with your friends and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much.